Blossom Colorant. Hey everybody! Thank you so much for tuning in to Monkey Blossom today. We are going to be doing some coloring with Belle and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. And we're going to be using colored pencils today, so it's a little bit of an advanced coloring session for maybe some of you older kids, but any kind of colored pencils will work with this. Um, I'm going to teach you a few techniques, and I hope you enjoy! One of my favorite things about colored pencils is the way they allow you to layer the color to add depth and shadow and make your pictures really pop. You don't have to use multiple colors the way I do, but it's one of my favorite things to do. Look at the way the two yellows make the dress come to life. I am so sorry my hand is in the way here. I'm adding a bunch of different color browns to her hair. I'm starting with a light brown and a tan for some highlights and adding some depth by using a darker brown on the under parts of her hair. This is a peach color that's very light and doesn't really show up, so I went back in with a tan color to give her some contouring. We do that with makeup sometimes. And it gives a little 3D effect. Blush helps as well. Look at how pretty she came out.
Whoopsie daisy! This is where I realized his lapel is actually yellow and not blue. So I used my handy dandy eraser to fix that problem. Coloring takes such a long time, so sometimes I like to sing. There's something sweet and almost kind, but he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. And now he's dear, and so I'm sure, I wonder why I didn't see it there before. I want to give this rose some special detail because the rose is so iconic in Beauty and the Beast. So in addition to just doing some basic red colors on the petals and green obviously on the stem, I'm going to do some highlighting here in the jar. Um, I'll use some gray here to make the jar appear rounded and then add in some lighter tones, maybe some yellows to make it appear like the rose is glowing. Cool, huh? Now I'm just going to go back in with some more blue, maybe some darker tones. This one has a little bit of green to it, just to give his jacket a little bit more depth. We're almost finished. I'm going to add a little bit of orange here in the background just to make it appear like they're glowing a little and they're in a setting just to make it look finished. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, aren't you? I hope you enjoyed coloring with us today. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more coloring videos and we have more toys coming soon. Thanks, Monkey Blossoms!